All right, welcome to another video. This is going to be a molecule to gram conversion. Uh, again, these are usually a little bit iffy since we're just, uh, well, it's a double conversion. We did, uh, or you can quickly do just maybe the, uh, you know, the, mo the moles of sulfur hexafluoride given the molecules that are there. You can also maybe give uh, or calculate the mass given the moles of sulfur hexafluoride. But in this case, we're given the molecules of sulfur hexafluoride. We're going to try to convert it into mass, in other words, grams of sulfur hexafluoride. Uh, so the best way to start these, again, these conversions off is to figure out what you're starting with and what you want to, in this case, end with. So we're starting with molecules. You want to end in mass. So you want to end in grams. The best way to start, we're going to put down what we're given. So 8.77 times 10 to the 25th molecules. Sulfur hexafluoride is SF6. Again, that's the stuff where you, if you inhale it, ah, you sound, uh, get that low voice. Pretty cool, but pretty expensive. So we start off with our large amount of molecules. All right. In order to get this molecule unit to cancel out, we have to put it on the bottom of our next conversion. So I'm going to put molecules down there. And we know the conversion between molecules and a mole of molecules. A mole of anything, all right, anything and everything, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of, uh, of anything. So if you have a mole of buildings, again, it's that many buildings. If you have a mole of molecules, it's that many molecules. It's just a, it's just a number, it's just a word. <clears throat> and again, we do that because the molecules cancel out. So since the molecules cancel out, now we can quickly convert from moles up here into, uh, into grams. So I'm going to put the one mole on the bottom, and I'm going to put the unit of grams up top. And again, the reason the mole goes in the bottom is so that we can cancel it out. This is something that is done constantly in our class. So if you were to inhale a mole of this sulfur hexafluoride, first of all, you would inhale this many molecules of it, but you'd also inhale a certain mass of it, and that mass would be the molar mass, which, if you added it up correctly, would be 146.07 Gs. <clears throat> All right. So we're looking for mass. You've got mass, therefore you're done. You just have to calculate. <clears throat> so for this conversion, what we calculate is we're going to take our top number, divide it by the mole number, which is a 6.02. Be sure to do that carefully. Use parentheses if, uh, if in doubt. If you use your E button, you don't need to use parentheses. It's a little easier. Then you're going to multiply it by your molar mass. And what we end up getting at the end, with sig figs included, obviously, you will get 21,300, ah, what? 21,300 grams of sulfur hexafluoride. Again, using three sig figs because of the three there. One, two, three. And that is how we do a molecule to gram conversion. Note the gram to molecule conversion is the exact same thing, just flipped around. Don't make it too difficult for yourself. It's just, uh, everything's just flipped around. And that's it.